Hey everybody, Kyle here, also known as Acid Rain 64 and welcome back to another part of Dead Rising 2. So, in the last part, we rescued some survivors, and we did a little bit of story stuff. We, we stopped TK from uh, escaping Fortune City, and now he's in our safe house, just kind of uh, hanging out unconscious, so he's not going to be causing uh, much of a problem for us at the moment. Um, so, uh, the next story thing that's going to come up is um, Katie is going to need Zombrex at 7 a.m., uh, so we have quite a few hours before we'll have to worry about that, but that's just something to keep in mind because it will be coming up. Um, okay, so first off in this video, um, the first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and pick up um, another thing of Zombrex. We have one Zombrex at the moment. Uh, for the rest of the game, we only need two. Perfect. So, um, and the reason for that is uh, we need to give Katie a Zombrex at 7 a.m. And then we will need Zombrex for right. um, another person later on. Not, not Jared, not the guy who we already gave a Zombrex to. But someone kind of unexpected, but we'll get there in just a bit. So, we need to get that second Zombrex. And there's actually one here in the Americana Casino, which we haven't picked up yet. Um, I think I have an idea of where it's at. Um, but we're going to grab that, and then we will not need any more Zombrex for the rest of this playthrough, which is, which is pretty nice. Um, there's also a Zombrex in... The maintenance tunnels, which I have not picked up and I won't pick up in this playthrough. Um, but maybe I'll show in a bonus video or something like that if I decide to. Because, I mean, it's nice to know those locations um, just in case you uh, need the Zombrex for something. Or you just skip out on one of the, the side missions that gives you Zombrex as a, as a reward. Um, but pretty much, if you just pick up a few of the Zombrex that are just lying around um, and uh, complete the the story the side missions that give you Zombrex, everything works out. So, um, I don't know, in all honesty, they set up um, this game pretty well so that you can easily get everything you need to with no problem. Or, um, so that you'll have Zombrex for everything you need to complete the main story. Anyway, so if you come up here to Benny and Jack's Barbecue Shack, I, I think is the name of this place, um, you should find these lights, and we want to jump across these, and this is kind of, kind of treacherous, but all the way over there we should find ourselves um, a thing of Zombrex. How in the world it got up there, I don't know, I don't want to question it, but that's where we gotta go. Um, Luckily, they're kind of lax with this jumping, so if you just happen to barely make it, you'll still usually catch on to um, the light. And if you fall off, you'll take a bit of damage, and then you'll have to climb all the way back up there. But looks like we had no problems. Nice. So we got a bunch of cash. A thousand and a hundred dollars, which is pretty nice. And here's the Zombrex. So we are now good with Zombrex. We will not need it for the rest of the game. Uh, bargaining, I, I guess that would um, lower the price of things in the pawn shop, but I'm not really going to get that. Um, but, okay, so we got the Zombrex, and now we can go ahead and take care of some of these side missions. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do Two's Company here. Um, this is a fairly simple side quest. We just need to go to uh, the Silver Strip. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna cut there. You don't need anything special, you just gotta go there and talk to the survivors that are there and everything works out. So I will meet you guys at the Silver Strip where we will take care of Two's company. Okay, so we wanna come over to this place called Hot Exciterama. And in here we will find Royce and Walter. Uh, let's see what these guys are up to. Yeah, I can tell your material so old, it's in Sanskrit. Whoa, a living person. Yeah, he must not have heard your set. Maybe he can settle this. Okay, so these guys seem to be having some kind of argument over something. Uh, we'll see what they're up to. Hey, pal, you gotta help me out. Grandpa over there and I were both in town for the Fortune City Com Comedian of the Year Award. 
I was killing the crowd with my jokes, and then these zombies come around and start killing them for real. I can't stand to be upstaged. Okay. Uh, those zombies out are still out there, but if you follow me, I can get you to safety. Nothing doing, pal. Uh, we were going to find out who the comedian of the year was, and we ain't leaving until... Uh, just listen to my joke and Walter's sad attempt and give the trophy on the counter to the funnier one. We'll follow you after I get my trophy, because I am the man, my friends. What? If you're a tasteful man like myself, then you're sick and tired of old comedians trying to be funny. Just, okay. Now I'm going to lay down some fresh lines from the new hotness of comedy. What do sloppy zombies get on their clothes when they eat? Stains. Oh, snap. Oh, oh. So good. Okay, stains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you have to say? Okay, get ready to laugh. What does a vegan zombie eat? Grains. Ha, 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 ha. Grains, get it? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so after you hear them both give their lame jokes, just give the trophy to one of them. Now I think if I give the trophy to this Walter guy, yes, I would like to thank the Academy and all the little people I had to stomp to get here. I kid, I kid. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so that guy follows us. Thanks, bunk. I guess old guys think jokes. Uh, wait. Nah, man, I'm not following someone who doesn't know a good joke when they hear it. I could follow someone who pays the bills, though, if you get my drift. Okay, so if you give the trophy to Walter, um, you have to give him $5,000. Uh, otherwise, if you give it to Royce, you just have to talk to Walter and he'll follow you for free. Excellent. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got him. Um, and that's, that's good for now. So let's go ahead and take these guys back to the good safe work. house. And then I will meet you back. Actually, you know what? Before I leave here... I want to use a mannequin torso in this playthrough. Um, the mannequin... Oh, what's this? Family feud. Okay. Yeah, we'll need to do that um, at some point as well. I'm going to grab a mannequin torso. Torso. For some reason, that was my favorite weapon in um, Dead Rising 1, or at least one of my favorite weapons. I don't know how effective it is in this game, though. Let's see. Oh, no. Because in Dead Rising 1, literally, you smack a zombie and they just go flying for some reason. Okay, I'm going to get these guys back to the safe house. And, uh, I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so we got Ralter and Voice. What? I just, <laughs> I just kind of confused their names a little bit. Uh, oh, they didn't really have a cutscene. Oh, Okay. Ooh, my speed increased, which is nice, and we got the electric rake. I've used that weapon before. It's it's pretty nice. It uh, it basically shocks zombies like around you, and it's pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's in Dead Rising Three as well. Um, okay, so uh, next thing, we're gonna go ahead and do world's most dangerous trick, and if you look on the map, it is in the Atlantica Casino. So. I'm going to go ahead and take the shortcut to Palisades Mall. I'm going to get geared up because this is actually going to be a boss fight. And uh, then we'll go ahead and take this out. So I'll meet you guys there. Anybody? Oh man, we move so fast now. It's nice. I think our speed is actually maxed out at this point, which is really nice. Um, I remember when I, when I played through Desert Rising 3... Um, you kind of customize your character and you select what you want to level up as you go along, um, which is really cool. And I think I actually had the most points in, I think it was, I don't, it wasn't just, I don't think it was just called stamina, but it had something to do with movement and uh, maneuverability and uh, sprinting and stuff like that. And uh, I maxed that out first because it's really nice just to be able to move fast um, when you're trying to get through. Uh, past zombies. Um, okay, so here's where World's Most Dangerous Trick is. I basically just grabbed some food and um, a couple shotguns. I haven't done this fight in a while, but I don't think it's going to be too hard. Uh, but we'll see what happens when we go in here. Idiot! We 
need to get on the ball if I'm ever going to get out of this hole and into the spotlight as I deserve. Don't you see? This is finally my chance. I mean, our chance. Go, you imbecile. Get ready for the next trick. And now, the trick that the world will soon know us by. But first, do we have a volunteer? A lovely lady, perhaps? We have a volunteer! It is time for the most dangerous magic trick of all time. Sawing the lady in half! Abracadabra! Okay? Who asked you to come in here while we were practicing? You just want to tear us down, like the others, don't you? Well, we just so happen to have a very special trick just for you. It's a little disappearing trick. You'd be the perfect volunteer. The ending is to die for! Okay, so we have two crazy magicians. We got Reed and Roger. So, um, what I want to do, um, is actually take out Reed first. Um, he does have a way of disarming you with his magic thing, or his, uh, big gun thing. So what I'm going to do is take him out first. Um, probably by meleeing him to death. Or I'm going to try to, at least. Okay. Oh. Just got, oh, come on. Just got to, uh, dodge his shit a little bit. Not like that. Okay. Now I need to heal. Um. Yeah, there we go. These guys aren't too hard, um, but they can be a bit annoying. Oh, especially when they follow you. Okay, um, but I... It doesn't really matter which one you go after first. Reed is a bit more annoying than Roger. So just take out him first. And then you can go after the guy with the swords. Um. Okay, so. We can't pick up his magic thing yet. Alright, but now Roger's gonna come after us. He's not too hard. You can actually kill him with, uh, weapons. Because he is... He's pretty much melee. Um. There he is. Let's see. Oh, there you are. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be pre pretty easy to kill. It's just going to be a major matter of actually finding him. Um, so, I that this that's who I would recommend bringing weapons for. Oh, 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 yep. Hup, hup. Hup, 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 oh. Oh, what is that? Oh, God, I thought... I thought that was him. Alright, let's get up here. Take him down with this six-shooter. Um... See if we can't snipe him. Hello? Oh, here, there he is. Um... I guess I could try to melee him, but he probably does a lot of damage. Most likely more damage than I do. Um. Hello? There you are. How much health is he at? Oh, he's already halfway done. Come on. Dang it. Here, come at me, man. Oh, uh, do I got him stuck? I do. He's dead. 
<laughs> I'm glad we have that six shooter. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so now we have the combo card for the rocket launcher. Um, but we can actually pick one up from here, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to keep it though, because it's one of those big weapons that you have to actually keep out. But I will take this sword. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, I kind of feel bad for Roger. He was... It looked like he was just putting up with that other guy's shit. Um, the guy that we killed first. But, yeah, they were both kind of crazy, because he could have he left at any point. He didn't have to put up with that guy's stuff. Um, but, okay, so that's taken care of. We've got one more me uh, mission up right now, Family Feud. So we're actually going to run and do that real quick. Um, and I think, as well, um, I'm going to st also stop by... Uh, Actually, no. No, I don't have to do that yet. I'm just going to go ahead and knock out Family Feud. So, I'll meet you guys um, on top of the hotel once again. Okay, so on top of the hotel, we should find Lillian. Oh, Mon, I'm, I'm sorry I left you. I should have stayed with her. Okay. Why didn't I listen to her? Uh, what's going on? Hey, lady, don't do anything drastic. Listen, I can help you. It's my mother. We couldn't decide on a safe place to go, so we ended up arguing, and she, she stormed off. If anything happened to her, hey, she might be just fine. Did you want to... Did you see where she went? She was talking about the Atlantica Casino when she left. She wouldn't uh, have made it very far. All right, stay here and don't do anything crazy. If she's alive, I'll find her. I guess I have nothing else to lose. I'll wait for a little longer. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to run to the Atlantica Casino and find her mother, and then we're going to bring her back to her and then we'll have these two survivors with us um so on my way to this place um i actually got oh wait did i take the wrong elevator i feel like this takes me somewhere completely different than i was oh wait why does this count as the south plaza uh, i guess i just kind of connect i don't know um but yeah uh we got a call for um Katie's next dose of Zombrex, which, uh, like I've said, happens at 7 a.m., so we have a few hours yet, so not not really too big of a deal there. Um, and then we also got a, a call for a side mission called um, Fortune City Botany Club, um, and for that, all you need to do is just grab something from the, uh, I think it's the Palisades Mall, it's a plant. Um, and then you'll take it back to one of the um, one of the survivors. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, like, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do Family Feud, and then once we're done with that, I'm gonna run and get that, that, um, that plant. Actually, you know what, I might do that while we're here in the Atlantica Casino. So I'm going to grab this chick's mom, and then we'll go grab that plant that we need. Oh, so there's Camille. Hey, thank you kindly. I was in real trouble before we got here. I had an argument with my daughter, and... Actually, I saw your daughter on the edge of a rooftop. I'm worried she might do something, but I can take you there. The edge of a roof? She was always such a dra dramatic child. Please take me to her. Okay, so we need to take Camilla to her daughter. So, um... But first, let's go ahead and grab... Yeah, because it wouldn't make much sense for me to um, stop by here. I don't think we have to actually go back to the safe house. Um, 
So, let's actually, yeah, let's actually just go straight to the Palisades Mall. Um, and this plant that we need to get is in a store. Um, I'll point out which one it is when we actually get into the Palisades Mall. Um, because I know the name of the, uh, the, the store. And I'll have to, uh, I'll have to look that up. But I, I, I know the number of it, but I don't know what it's called. But... Let me, let me actually check that real quick. Um, yeah, 210, so it's on the second floor. Um, let's see, it's probably... Okay, it's in the art gallery again. So we'll have to go there. I hope, I hope that lady was close enough. Because I didn't even check before I went in here. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, let's... I think that's the right place we have to go to. Okay, so here it is. Um, this is called Peace Art. And I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be, but it's like... It's like a gun tied to a plant? What the hell? Okay, but we need that for Fortune City Botany Club. Um, so, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and knock out um, Family Feud. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut to... Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut back to the hotel, and then we will complete Family Feud. So, see you guys there. Stick with me. Let's go. Okay, so... We've got Camilla up here to the, the top of the hotel. And uh, let's reunite these two together. Lillian? She said she headed to the Atlantico Casino. M mom Mom? Keep oh, Lillian, I'm so glad you're safe. Aw. Yes. Lillian, you get down from uh, there this instant. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving my mom. You're welcome, but we're not done yet. We gotta get back to the safe house. Okay, so... That's... That's it for family food. And now we just need to get these two back to the safe house. So... Let's go. Stay close. Okay, here we go. Two more survivors in the bag. Let's see what we get. Not again. We don't get a, a cutscene for that. It's kind of weird. All right. So our attack damage increased, and we got the para blower. Yes. Cool. Okay. So at this point, um. Oh. 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 Yeah. Fortune City Botany Club. I almost forgot about that. So in here is Vicky. Oh my God. Between the zombies and the military, there's a terrible danger. Um. Yeah. I know. Lots of people are. People? Who said anything about people? You have to save the Fortuna Esperdestria. What? Uh, it's a small plant that only grows in the Fortune City, but don't you know anything? Uh, okay, a local artist that used it in his pieces. I'm sure it's at the Coloro Collection. Came here to get it and plant it to make sure this wonderful piece of flora lives on. I'm not sure if I would risk my life for a plant. I saw it in your eyes when you saved me. You wouldn't risk your whole ecosystem. Um, pretty please. Remember, okay, so Peace Art, uh, which we picked up, so let's go ahead and give it to her. Thank you so much. Mother Earth has a true champion in Chuck Green. Hey, go green to Chuck Green. Kind of catchy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's done. Um, the next thing we have coming up is to give Katie Zombrex at 7 a.m. So we will most definitely do that. Um, so we can kind of come in here and hang out. What are you up to? Good job, Chuck. You found more Zombrex. I wish this stuff lasted longer. It's getting hard to find. I'll be back when it's time to give it to her. Okay. Still got Snowflake hanging out here. I found more Zombrex, kiddo. Thanks, Daddy. How long until I need my shot? Soon. It's not time yet. Okay, so we have just a few moments until we need to give Katie the Zombrex. Um, and we will do that. I'm not sure if I'll get to do Anti Up in this playthrough. I really want to. Um, but I'll probably do it off screen if I do it. I'm pretty sure it's just strip poker. Like, you play until, um, you knock people out.
by uh, them stripping down to absolutely nothing. I think you get a little bit of money from it, and you also get some prestige points. Uh, but it's probably not anything super important. Um, so if I don't get to do it, or I don't get to complete it before the next case begins, that is okay by me. Um, but just a very quick rundown of what we have left in this playthrough. Um, let's see, we have... Um, we have a bunch of cases coming up. We have two side missions, and that's pretty much it. So we are getting down to the last little bit of this playthrough, which makes me pretty excited. Um, all right, let's give Katie the Sombrex. Dad, I didn't let me get to the save point. I'm going to have to restart. Sorry, kiddo. Time for your medicine. Chuck, the rescue's coming soon. Sullivan said they'll save anyone at the bunker at first light. There still might be people out there that we can help. If you can get them back here in time... It never stops, does it? Haha, -ha. well, Stacy, you'll be happy to know that, um... At this point, we've saved everyone that we can. So, yeah. Get over it. Uh, we're not done saving survivors yet, but at this point we are um, good until the next case begins. Okay, so anti-up is coming up pretty soon. Um, I'm not going to be able to complete it before the next story mission um, begins, but I'll just go ahead and show it off. Uh, so if you come in here, um, deep into the area where the survivors are in the safe house, um, we should find a group of people that are playing poker. I guess you can gamble on these slot machines in here? I, I never knew that. Um, so let's see what's going on. Um, oh, I guess everyone's just kind of in here freaking out for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, we can just sit here and play poker. Um, and basically... You're not playing for money at this point. Um, you're more or less just... Uh, it, like, every time someone loses, they just take off an article of clothing. So it is... Um, it's it's just strip poker. So, at least I think that's how it works. Um, yeah, I'm really bad at poker, so I'm just going to show this here, and then we'll end off this part. And she's raising. You know what? YOLO, let's do it. Let's call. See what happens. I'm probably going to lose, but that's alright. Okay, she's going all in. Ooh. I'm going to go all in too, because why not? Oh, she had three aces. Four aces. Fuck me. Alright, yeah, so what happens is every time you lose, uh,. You have to take off an article of clothing. So this this is basically just a big time waster. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and quit this. And we lose our shoes, which... Ah, oh, that's okay. Not a big deal. Um, so yeah, every time you knock someone out, you... Um, you basically get um, some prestige points. And you might even get some money at the end of it. But... I don't know. I'm not really worried about playing that because nothing really happens if you lose. Nothing really happens if you win. It's just it's just a way to pass some time before this case begins. Um, but, you know what? Actually, I think for these last few missions, let's go ahead and put on the, uh, the default uh, stuff here. Because why not? Oh, when did we get that? Oh. <laughs> All right, let's get this. I like this. It's uh, Otis's outfit from uh, Dead Rising One. I, I didn't even know I got that. 
Um, but, alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this part off here. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And I will see you guys next time on Dead Rising 2 when we will begin Case 6-1. So see you guys then.